right. Ethnic cleansing, genocide, jihad, those are the words many Nigerians have used to describe the unending killings in Benue state. Since the 1st of January uh, massacre in Benue, where more than 50 people were killed, barely a week goes by without reports of deadly attacks on communities in the state. Yeah, now Sunday, June the 3rd, was a black one in Benue, as no fewer than 13 persons were killed and several others injured in several attacks on two local government areas of the state. While militia herders launched a fresh attack in uh, Tseadu village in Kwande council area, a group of suspected cultists held sway in Otukbo local government area. Now seven persons were killed by herders in Kwande local government, six others injured and several houses burned down. While in Otukbo, the clash between suspected cultists left six people dead. And recently, Catholic faithful in different parts of the country took to the streets uh, to protest the killing of some Catholic priests and other Christians in Benue. Well, we're being joined by the National Coordinator, Benue Youth Forum, Terence Kwanum from uh, Abuja Studio. Good morning and thanks uh, for joining us on the show. Good morning, Moses. All right. Uh, Okay, great. Let's uh, even begin with the latest development where the defense minister has called for a scrapping of the anti-grazing law in states like Benue, Ikiti, and Taraba. What uh, is your view? Well, well, the statement of the minister of defense uh, did not come to we Benue people as a surprise uh, because that is the narrative they have been using to unleash mayhem on our people without seeing an ending. Uh, because it is only in a country like Nigeria when NEC will take a decision uh, that five states should go to ranching and then the minister will come out to say that uh, the problem with crisis and killings in Benue and some other states is because of the anti grazing law. Uh, but the minister himself comes from Zamfara uh, where there is no anti-open grazing law, uh, but killings are in Zamfara on a daily basis. Uh, so what is this still the solution of doing away with the, a law that will end the killings in Zamfara? Is there a law in southern Kaduna, in Kaduna State, where people are being killed? Is there a law in Plateau State, where people are killed on a daily basis? Is there a law in Nasarawa State? So if the minister comes out of a security meeting and then make that kind of statement, it means that uh, there is no end to these killings in a while. And then the federal government themselves uh, are obviously telling us that uh, they are not doing anything about these killings. And this is how our people will be killed on a daily basis without an ending. It's a very sad situation. All right, As Terrence. we speak today, yesterday, in Goma local government in Shan, six people were killed. All right, the, this, we, we uh, keep the yeah, Terence. We, we keep hearing of this this killings on a daily basis, especially in Benue. Talk to us. Uh, you you have been in Benue all the while. What is the, what kind of interface is there between Benue, the the authority or leadership in Benue, like the, mm. the government in Benue and the federal government to bring in this to an end? Because we, we have heard of the military that has been deployed to Benue. We've heard of different strategies here and there. But what kind of interface is there? The Benue state government, from the beginning of this crisis, have made it clear to the federal government that we, the people of Benue, we know our killers. The people that are sponsoring killings in Benue is the Mayati Ala Kauta Hore. And we don't understand why these people cannot... Uh, be brought to book uh, because this is a country where a uh, robbery took place in Offa and it is assumed a vehicle with the inscription of the Senate president was seen at the, uh, 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 the scene of the robbery and a Senate president is invited by the play. And then they are killing uh, thousands of Nigerians and then uh, the Mayati Ala Kauta Hore is a group that has come out openly uh, to uh, to tell everyone that they are responsible for these killings and then nobody is, uh, is inviting them or uh, holding them to persecute them. And so we wonder the kind of country we are in where 
uh, other, 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 other crimes will be taken seriously, and then other people that commit very serious crimes will be treated as if uh, they have immunity in this country. And the mm. people that are killing people in Benue is the Mayota Ala County Hori. And until they are arrested and persecuted, these killings will not end. Yeah, but, 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 uh, the, but the question I ask, mm -hmm, sorry, mm -hmm. the question I ask is that is there any engagement, is there any interface between yeah. government, Benue State government and the federal government to end this killing? Nigerians are really... Uh, 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 becoming impatient. Exactly, You're becoming right. impatient with the development from Benue State. Oh, of, of course. Of course, the Benue State, the Benue State government has laid a platform for this killing to end. The Benue State government, with the people of Benue, enacted a law that will end these killings once and for all. But you know that the state government has no security. And the federal government, at every time when the president came to Benue, uh, we have discussed this, we know that the president left the villa, came to Benue without a public, pol a public statement, a policy statement that will end this killing. We complain about it. The vice president was in Benue of recent, and what he also did was to come and defend uh, the Mayati Alakata Ohere that what we are seeing is just uh, criminals and bandits. Uh, but we made it clear to him that the people that are killing us are the Mayati people. What we had expected is that since the Bureau State Government has created all this platform for the federal government to know exactly what is happening in Benue, they would have made a statement like arresting the Mayati Alakata Ohere, persecuting them so that everybody that is involved in this crime with this group of people will stop uh, uh, killing people in Benue. Mm. Now, you came to Benue as the vice president. You went to the uh, IDP camps. You brought the DG of Seba. But up to today, no one bag of rice has not been brought to the uh, 180,000 people that are displaced in Benue. Uh, you told us that you are going to uh, uh, end this killing and then move these people back to their communities. Nothing has been done about it. We have insisted that for this uh, crisis to end, for the solutions the federal government is telling us that they are bringing to these killings, let us see the solutions the way we are seeing the killings. Until we see solutions to this crisis, the way we are seeing, seeing the killings of our people, we're not going to believe in all those kangaroo solutions uh, that they keep telling us they're going to bring. Because the platform yeah. has been set by the Benue State Government that the anti open grazing law should uh, stand in place, the, uh, the headers should ranch their cows, the farmers should also uh, do their farming, and uh, nobody should come and say uh, uh, and cows are coming to eat our, 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 uh, our crops in the farm and X, Y, Z, then this killing will end. So that is the biggest thing that can be, uh, can, that can be done to end the crisis in Benue, but by enacting that law, the federal government is supposed to have queued into that program, directed the security agencies, because me and you know that the governor has no directive well, uh, uh, to the police, the SSS, and, and all the security agencies. So the federal government needs to help the state government to enforce this law by directing its uh, security agencies to protect uh, and enforce this law. Now, uh, well, if the, I may come the in, the leadership Terence. of security agencies in this country, they are more concerned with mm. repealing uh, this law than enforcing the law. And, and, but you would recall... And, and we live in a country where anybody uh, that makes a statement against a law in this country commits felony. And all security leadership in this country has committed this felony, which is also against the law. So rather than enforce the law, they are rather even going against the law. Mm. But you would recall uh, weeks ago, the federal government actually called for a, a, a stoppage of um, open grazing in places like Benue, Taraba, and the rest of them. Uh, I wonder what has happened since that directive uh, went out. But back to the real issue here. Uh, the, the governor of uh, Benue State, Samuel Otom, um, has every now and again called on his people to defend themselves, use stones and whatever, and has cried to the federal government. But beyond all of this, what really is the state government doing? Because there seems to be a, a different dimension to these killings now. You have Curtis right now in the fray. Curtis um, are reported to have been responsible for these last killings. So it's no longer about uh, uh, herdsmen killing. No. Uh, the issue of Cortes in Utupo is a different uh, thing. The killings in Kwande, the killings of yesterday night in Guma, uh, are done by this same group that are killing our people. Uh, uh, you, you know, the federal government 
and his agencies are always trying to change these narratives. And that is why they keep bringing issues that are not attached to the killings of Benue people to take preeminence. And they kill the real reasons why uh, the people of Benue are being killed. Uh, because if the headsman uh, that the Mayati uh, Allah Kata has sent people to Ikwadi to go and kill people, if yesterday night uh, the same people sent uh, people to go and kill people in Goma, and then you go and bring a court fight that took place in Otubo to take preeminence or even join into these killings, it's quite unfortunate. It is just the same thing uh, like they killed two reverend fathers and parishioners in the church. They came and arrested the chairman of the uh, uh, joint tax force and went and paraded him in court that is responsible for the killing of those priests. Those, that is insulting the sensibilities of the people of Benue State because they don't want to address the issue and that is why the killings will not end. Because anybody that is partaking in criminality and is being uh, protected by the highest uh, laws of, uh, law of the land, uh, mm -hmm. by the security agencies, it means the person uh, is not going to stop the killings. And that is why the killings keep persisting. Because at every time the federal government and its agencies come out, they defend or try to divert attention from where the real killers are and try to bring cover off where they don't even exist. That is why the killings have never but ended. But what is the state government doing? The sponsors of these killings are brought to book. What is the state government doing? Because it, 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 the, the body language the of the state, state government, go as we speak, yes. the state government, as we speak, the state government, as we speak, have exposed the killers as one well of the killers of the Benue people. The state government, as we speak, is in court with the killers of Benue people. It is the federal government that is not helping the state government. And that is why these killings are going on. Because if the federal government allows the security agencies to enforce the law, to arrest the people who are behind these killings and persecute them, these killings will end. So when you keep asking what the state government is doing, mm. the state government has uh, brought the people together, enacted the law. The state government has brought the federal government to interact with the people of Benue and know the root cause of the killings in Benue. It is left for the federal government to act. They are not acting. All platforms that lead to the killing of Benue that has been presented before the public domain and to the government of this country by the state government. So what else would the state government have done? All right. Uh, you just mentioned the issue of arrests. We, we also know that the, the uh, military operation there, uh, I am Patuma, sometime uh, made some arrests. And even the police also made some arrests mm -hmm. here and there. And at a time, amongst those who were arrested uh, was said to be someone who was an aide to the governor who was behind uh, uh, those who, who, uh, who were perpetrating the killing. Talk to us about the arrests that have been made and what is really uh, going on in that regard now. Well, when Ayemek Patuma came and failed woefully, they, I'm, I'm very sure the, the military wanted to cover their face uh, with the shame they brought upon themselves and they came to Benue and told us they are going to make high-profile arrests irrespective of who was involved in the killings in Benue. They came and arrested Alahaji Tashaku, who is the chairman of Joint Tax Force in Benue. We were expecting that immediately they would go after the leadership of the Mayati Ala Kauta Hore, and then they will go into persecution, and then we'll see the evidences they have against the civilian Joint Tax Force and then the Miati Ala Kauta Hore, and then persecutions will be done, and then we know that the people responsible for this killing has been persecuted. But what, what do we see? They came and arrested Alahaji Tashaku. They did not arrest the perpetrators of the killings in Benue. A few days ago, we saw them parading Tashaku as the killer of the two uh, reverend fathers and parishioners in Benue. This was a mockery on the people of Benue. What they are doing is just to cover the shame they brought about a revered institution like the military. But that will not kill the narrative of what is happening in Benue. Because the people of Benue know they are killers. And until you arrest the killers of the people of Benue, these things will not end. You can keep diverting attention, you can keep covering these killings up, but you cannot. You have to live in tandem with reality for you to end this killing. 
People have taken responsibility of these killings. And before these killings started, people have threatened being with people that they are going to invite the entire herders all over the world to come and invade Benue until the anti-open grazing law has been repealed. Now, because the law has come into effect, they have come to invade us. Now, from the threats to the killings of the people of Benue, these things have been reported to the security agencies, to the National Assembly, and to the president himself. Now, if you fail to do something about these killings, and then you are diverting attention, it will still not end the killing. Okay, so the arrest what of will Tashaku end? was just a mockery on our people. What but then? We know that this is not going to bring any solution to it. What would be the solution then? The anti-grazing law doesn't seem to be working. In addition to that, what exactly would you recommend to help government, both at the state level and, of course, the federal government, to put a decisive end to these killings, whether the, it's by courtes or headsmen or whoever. The anti-open the, 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 the anti-open anti grazing law remains the best solution to ending killings in Benue, and there is the narrative that the anti-open grazing law is not working is is not true because the the federal government agencies that are supposed to enforce this law are the ones that are fighting the law and not the people that are supposed to respect the law. Now, when they come to fight the law, they, they head out and take advantage of their refusal to enforce the law and create crisis so that they will make sure the law does not stand. Anti-open grazing law remains the best option to ending the killings in Benue and every other place in Nigeria. So until we accept the reality that the, open, the anti-open grazing law is a solution to this killing, and we Nigerians embrace it, these killings will never end. Mm -hmm. And this, we should stop politicizing security issues in this country, but the security should rather do their primary responsibility of enforcing laws in this country, but rather stop advising legislators to repeal laws that have, been, that have already been passed. Until they enforce, they carry out their constitutional responsibility. They are the ones that are instigating this crisis. They, they should face their constitutional responsibility and enforce the law. All right. All right. We, we have to leave you here now. Uh, Terence Kwanum, National Coordinator, Benway Youth Forum. Thank you very much for talking to us on TVC Breakfast.